My name is Amanda Scarborough, and I pitched at Texas A&M from 2004 to 2008, where I was a two-time All-American. I wasn't the average height of a pitcher that's upwards of five foot hitting six foot. I stand at about five foot five inches tall. What helped me have success in my pitching career was the fact that I was able to generate energy in my lower half. I was able to use it efficiently to get the most out of my five foot five frame and throw in the upper 60s, sometimes hitting 70 miles an hour. It was up to me to get my body in the right position, the correct position to use the most out of my leg drive, starting from the very beginning of my pitch. I like to coach and I like to pitch with the softball power drive because I feel like it enhances my mechanics, specifically with my lower half working from the ground up. So from the very beginning of my pitch, I want to think about that the beginning is mostly for timing and building up energy and building up momentum and building up a load from the very beginning of my pitch. This is where a lot of my energy is going to be stored and it's going to be stored all in my lower half as I begin to work back with my arm swing and start to push back back against my left foot in a more rock position. It's at this position right here where the weight is the majority in my left leg and my right toe is going to come up at the front of the rubber. My heel is digging down against the ground and I want to start to begin to activate my lower half. It's at this spot right here where my entire weight is back and I'm going to wait for the top of my arm circle to start to hit the top before my bottom half is going to start to begin to roll through. You can see how loaded up my bottom half is in my hips and in my glutes and in my quads and my hamstrings by the line that's running down from my heel and up through my hips as energy is created and stored back behind that line. It's a load that's very similar to hitting and that's what I went by to load up energy to then begin to push out as I moved forward. It was my lower half that starts slightly before my hand as it moves forward starting to create energy and whip and momentum to begin to push and exit off of the pitching rubber. The exit angle that I'm taking is at a position that's slightly angled. It's not just going up and it's not just going out, but you're able to see the bend that I have in my leg and a sprinter type position that I'm going to be able to push down against the ground with my right toes on. It's really important to have this position with my leg for me to be able to get a proper push out. Whenever I'm at this position, I think that all of my weight is pushing down through my right toe. That's going to be the leg that propels me off of the pitching rubber to get the most energy. Now this is so important for me because you have to understand I am only five foot five and it's that initial push that's going to give me a lot of energy and momentum to be prepared to come off of the pitching rubber. At this point, I'm trying to get my left knee up towards my hip to think about lifting that left leg as it's just as important for my power as my right leg. That left leg is going to be on its way up to pull me up and pull me towards the plate as I begin to push out. As well as the fact that I'm lifting my left knee, my right toes that are in the circle are going to begin to push against the ground and I wanna think about raising my heel. The power drive puts me into a better position to do this as it's already angled down on the same exit angle that I need to release off of the pitching rubber. The great thing about it too is it enhances that click by making me think about pushing that right foot down even harder to store up and load more energy and then be able to release it through my right leg. As I begin to reach forward throughout that push, my legs become pretty extended and pretty wide. I want to have a solid base. For me, that was just a reaching point for me to think about how far out I could reach with my left foot. You can see it extended. It's pointed up and I'm going to think about putting the ball of my foot on the ground first and not the heel. But my back foot, my right foot that's still almost on the pitching rubber is fully extended. Now all of that energy is pushed out from my toes, through my heel, through my knee, and all the way through my hip. 
that back leg is so fully extended and it's just extended enough to where at this point I've released all that energy and I'm going to be thinking about getting completely open in the middle of my pitch. After I fully extend, I now come to the toe touch position. At this toe touch position, because I had such a great push out from the very beginning, my arm is able to get more than halfway through around my circle. That's going to be important so that my timing will be correct at my release point because I had such a great push out. And it's not just a push out that went straight, it's a push up that went up and out due to the lift in my left leg and the push with my right leg. It was important for me for my arm to be about three quarters of the way through my circle at this toe touch position to have a solid base and a firm front side and more importantly a right leg that is bent and now has more energy to be able to be stored to come through it. My right leg is bent and at this position my knee is underneath my hip and my hip is underneath my shoulder but more impor most importantly you see that that leg is bent and about to have energy to come through at my release point. At this point, I'm thinking about that my backside is going to explode as I think about driving my back knee towards my front knee to get the most out of my release point and still being able to carry that energy that I created from the very beginning of my pitch. I keep driving my legs forward to get towards my release point and continuing to think about my back knee driving towards my front knee. But when I land, I want there to be some space still at my base to be able to snap through and finish that final drag. I've pushed out very far from the very beginning and you can see the length of my stride and that length is all formed from the very beginning when I loaded up from the very beginning of my pitch to create momentum in my bottom half to get to this explosive point in an athletic position to where I'm ready to release my pitch with power. As I'm able to snap through my pitch I'm going to be able to finish my leg drive that is a drive that I created with my toes, with my heel up from the very, very beginning of my pitch. And it all started with a load and a push down against the ground as I always work from the ground up. 